It's the most unique shoe I've ever seen. But is this ultra accessible design worth the $120 price tag? The Nike Go Fly Ease. Is it worth it? I've spent so long thinking about this shoe that I'm not quite sure what to think about it. Hailed as the shoe for every person, the Nike Go Fly Ease is quite frankly the most inclusive design I've ever seen, possibly ever made. Originally announced in February of 2021, these shoes were featured on late night shows, they popped off on YouTube, but they weren't really available. It wasn't until May of 2022 that a restock on Nike's website made the shoe accessible. Hence why we're talking about them now, because people can actually purchase them now. It's a performance shoe designed to be removed like so. Look ma, no hands. In all seriousness though, Nike has done a really great job of marketing these shoes to the people who might get the best use out of them. Not lazy boys like me, but people with disabilities or other physical challenges that limit their mobility. Nike says the original idea behind the shoe was to support adaptive athletes better, but creating a shoe that stays on your foot for a run and can also be put on and taken off without using one's hands might have seemed impossible. Let's talk about the design that allows it to happen. The shoe essentially consists of two main parts, the front portion that holds the majority of your foot and the insole, and a connected hinging heel section. These two pieces are held together by elastic bands that lock the shoe into position while you're wearing it. And the finishing touch to make them truly hands-free, Nike added a prominent heel notch that allows you to hold the heel of one shoe with the other foot and unlock the shoe and step out of it. I mentioned that these shoes stay on your foot for a run. I know from experience. I took these out for a few two mile runs and here's my take. While they're definitely not a running shoe first design, I found my runs and walks in the Go Fly Ease to be very comfortable. Here's a few specifics on that. First, I found the shoes to fit true to size and with a standard width. When I dig my heels in the back of this shoe, they are a little extra roomy in the toe, so some might consider going a half size down. You expect to feel a little less arch support and rigidity in the shoe because of the location of this hinge, but it feels surprisingly supportive on foot. It also has the right amount of give in the right places. If anything, I would prefer a little bit more padding in the heel area, but most importantly, I was very surprised how confident I felt running in this shoe. Considering the design, it is impressive how well the Nike Go Fly East stays on. This shoe can be your running shoe, and that blows my mind. So now we get to the question of price. Is the Go Fly Ease worth $120? Yeah, 100%. If anything, I'm surprised these don't cost more. Nike has done us a solid in creating a very functional performance shoe for people with physical limitations at a mid-range price point. This video is not sponsored, by the way. Obviously, take the shoe for what it is. Performance runners can probably get a lighter, better suited for running shoe, same for basketball, etc. But overall, this is a very good trainer for everyone. It is multifunctional. You forgot these. Oh. Yeah, thanks. The Go Fly Ease comes in several colorways, more than just these three actually, and as of this recording, they are available in limited sizes on Nike's website, which I believe is the only place you can get them currently. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe to the Slick Deals YouTube channel. I'm Pete King. Catch you guys next time.